Um, the first question is, how did you become a non-feminist woman? Okay. Uh, back when I was in school, uh, in 8th grade or so, I was a feminist. I was a die-hard feminist. I was like, I would kill anyone who wasn't not a feminist. Okay. But then I realized, uh, is, uh, I'm a Muslim woman. So in Islam, uh, Islam doesn't support feminism. Mm-hmm. It is against feminism. Okay. So I was like, why? Why is it Islam against feminism? I asked myself, why? Mm-hmm. You know, then I thought of, went and researched. Then I figured out that it is just a social media campaign to make women more narcissistic and just idiotic. It's insane. Okay, yes. Okay, so do you believe that you you live in a patriarchy where you live? But to a certain extent, yeah. We can say that uh, patriarchy still exists. Where, where do you live? I live in India. Okay, and in India, you, you believe that you live in a patriarchy, right? It was not an estate. It's not uh, how it was once upon a time. In the traditional history, how it was, the patriarchy, the severity it has been gone. It was not an estate. We still have the patriarchy. You still have the and patriarchy. So, so do you think it's a bad thing, this patriarchy? No, I don't think it's a bad thing because biologically, men are better handler of things. You know, they are better handler of stress. It has been proven by many researchers. So, if they have the authority, uh, I think they will be leading the world in a better way. Okay. It's not an exactly a bad thing. But when it becomes a toxic, when they start manipulating others, then that's a very cruel thing to be there. Okay. And how do you look at traditional gender roles? Traditional gender roles? You mean like men should be working and women should be at home? Something right, like right. These are the normal traditional gender roles. How is it in India? I, I think it's the same. It's about the same, but now things are changing, thankfully. Mm-hmm. Women are going out, but it's not the same in throughout the India. You know, India has different sectors, different areas. Mm-hmm. Some areas it is completely very modern. Mm-hmm. In some areas it is still, uh, still very backward. Mm-hmm. I have friends who are not even allowed to study. They are married as soon as they gain majority. That's very saddening. That's very heartbreaking. But mm-hmm. that exists. So gender roles, when it comes to gender roles, um, I think they are I think they are being allotted because that's the best we can do. Right. Women are best at uh, household things because we can manage multiple things at one time. Women are multitaskers. Men are not multitaskers. They are like single-minded. If they, you give them a chance, or if you give them a task, they will have 100% focus on that task. Right. You know, they can't, they cannot think of 10 things at once. Okay. But women, we can. Women, we can. We can do the laundry. We can have the child. We can look after the grandparents or the husband or our needs and cooking. We can do multi th- multiple things at once. Right. That's why the gender roles were described to bring the best out of us. Okay. Okay. So that should be a priority, but we should not be constrained to them. Just because I have been given a role to manage house, that doesn't mean that I should just do that. Right. You know, that's not the only thing that I should do. I should focus on other things. I, I should get out. I should work. I should help others. I should help my community. Right. Etc. That's yeah. No, I agree with you. The gender roles are okay. They exist. They say the woman uh work more with the children. The, the man works more outside of the home. But it it yeah. is something flexible. So just because you have gender roles doesn't mean that you have to do that. It if if it exactly. works differently for your family or for you, then you do it differently. If it works, sometimes it's like this, sometimes it's like that. But in general, yeah. sometimes the society has a gender role, the, you know, yes. Okay, what are your thoughts on men's rights activists? Yeah, they should actually exist. I think uh, the number of men's rights activists should increase because uh, I am a law student. I have been studying law. Mm-hmm. So I have seen cases in which men were accused, men were tried in false cases. False rape cases, false domestic domestic violence cases, false dory death cases. It's so hard to see men being thrown away like trash. Okay. Then a woman goes okay. to the police and complains that certain man has raped her. Police, on just on her words, they can arrest the men. Yeah. There was recently a case of a man who was accused of rape uh-huh. by a woman who he had never seen in his life, and yeah. at the time when she said that she was she was raped. The man was not even in India. He was abroad. Oh. He provided alibis. He was not even in India. Yeah. 
he got caught case but still the man was accused still the man was tried still the man had record on him it would affect his future as well right yeah he has a record he has a police record now you can't do no one will go into the depths right once you have a police record you have a police record whether right. you were proven innocent or not no one cares about it. okay yeah yeah that's that's yeah this happens and so, like activist is mandatory it's compulsory and it's uh, a very delightful thing i could say that they are increasing people are getting more educated they are educating themselves and they are finding out what's the truth and what's being manipulated and what's being rented to them okay okay what are your thoughts on hypergamy do you believe that women choose men who have higher social and economic status it's a personal thing i believe okay or if you have if you want or if women they want to choose sexuality mm-hmm. it's nothing bad in choosing sexuality but if you are against if you are just running for the money then you are just a good leader okay <laughs> it doesn't matter right if you are looking for security right. you can go for upper classes if you want to upgrade your lifestyle if you want to upgrade uh, the kind of lifestyle your kids will grow up into you know right. and to get in there and to get the children they will grow up in the same class or class or whatever so right. if they want to upgrade that if that's the intention that go ahead no if you want to just uh, show off and do give you a luxurious life you don't care you don't give an flying f about what is going on about what is about your children then it's a very bad thing then it's a very not assisting behavior right. from women from women side from the women side right okay what are your thoughts on the idea that society is centered around women gynocentrism that women get more sem- sympathy and it's easier for women like people feel more sorry for women that's true people naturally feel sorry for women but that's crazy how women can just manipulate her words and completely change the narrative that has been fed she can just uh, cry a tear or two and the world would be with her okay but i think that's also changing to a certain extent uh, because uh, we have uh, found we have disclosed we have how can i put it into words we have exposed when when you women who has used sympathy and played the victim card yeah. we have been exposed them but it's a uh, very hard uh, like people believe women at the word right okay that has it has to stop okay what are your thoughts on intersectionality the idea that some people have more privilege than others like that men have more privilege than women or white people versus minorities and so on to a certain extent yeah mm-hmm. uh, it is the thing it exists yeah if you are privileged then use that privilege for the better sake if you are not it theoretically it's a very great idea right intersectionality right. will yeah, will provide us with a great area where we can understand each other where we can share our vulnerabilities weaknesses and work on them together as a community right theoretically it's a very mind blowing idea and that's topic for debate right but practically it's not applicable practically we can't do that because people have Uh, certain stereotypes against other castes and class which, which we cannot change you know yeah many things have been changing but it will take time it's a long run game okay okay um let's see what else okay what are what are the major issues that you think face men today men uh, again there have been ambush that's the main issue legally they have been anguished for uh, tri- trivial issues you know yeah very trivial issues yes. again i will uh, like to say, share a story that recently happened in noida uh, india i guess india noida yeah. there was this case uh, a man uh, a woman and two other boys had a uh, had an argument about upon a very lame parking issue you know something about parking i don't know mm-hmm. they had an argument the woman hired some goons and beat the shit out of the two boys one was declared that immediately and the other was in icu she yeah. said that it is assault they assaulted her but when the police did all the cctv checking and all they found that the, they are innocent right oh so she lied to the people who she hired yeah yeah, yeah just to take revenge on the boys yeah over okay. some lame parking issue okay 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 yeah so men should men face that's the main problem that men face even in corporate world we can see that men uh, are kind of 
skeptical about hiring a woman on spot because if she is denied then she would play the victim she would say that they did not hire me because i am a woman mm-hmm. they start to self victimize if they do hire then they have to be given extra privileges if anyone touched them if uh, anything happened uh, you know they can easily file the false uh, assault or harassment charges right and there are topics right. that 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 does not really have any evidence right if someone touched me it's mine i felt uncomfortable i don't have any evidence to show that Right. So you can't say someone that you are wrong. It's a thing that we cannot provide any evidence. We have to just go by words. Okay. And the main thing that men face in both corporate and normal regular life, they are being accused, uh, even if they are innocent. And sometimes they are. Now it's uh, we can say it's being uh, the roles are being reversed. Earlier, women was not given a job just because she was a woman. Now men are facing problem because they are men. Okay. The same is being reversed now. Yes, it's being reversed. Okay. What are your thoughts on reproductive rights? If women are able to abort children, do you think men should be able to say they don't want to be fathers? I think no. Again, Islamic values in Islam, it's against. Right. Islam, okay. uh, you know, Islam believes in procreation. It's a thing that you cannot stop the natural thing to happen. Right. You're going okay. against the nature of being so. Okay. So Even you you are, don't agree with abortion. Okay. Okay. Abortion is not okay. You are killing a life, basically. Yeah. How can anyone agree to kill a life? Okay. It's murder. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. So, t- tell me about your channel. My channel. Okay. My YouTube channel. I started a year ago. I started posting in a year year ago, mm-hmm. and I have multiple uh multiple interests, and I'm still trying to figure out what I want to post about. I'm trying to find the gray area where. the content i like to post i like posting them and my audience loves to see them i'm trying to find the gray zone recently i started doing live uh, live streams uh, for study with me it's been great let's see what happens i'm still experimenting okay i will link to your channel in the description of anything i post with you yeah, thank you very much yes um okay do you have a story of anyone in your life who was personally affected by our feminist culture or feminism Me myself, I was affected. I was influenced. I became the so-called "pick me girl" you can say. Okay, <laughs> that was very hard for me. Oh, um, people call you "pick me girl" sometimes when you try to. No, they don't. They don't exactly call me "pick me," but my behavior was like that. I can self-analyze that I was being that. Uh, you know, uh, like for the movies like Mean Girls, Mean Girls Two, you know, it says that the MC, the female MC, was not like other girls. She was into mechanics. She was into cars. She yeah. was not like other girls. She did not wear makeup. Right. I used to follow that. I used to follow that. I love cars. I do love them. Yeah. But just to fit in, just to stand out, just to be picked up, I right. used to say that I like, I love cars. I don't love makeup. Okay. I don't love flowers. I used to say that I don't love flowers. I am not like other girls. Okay. But flowers are beautiful. Yeah. Now I started accepting that myself. The flowers are beautiful. I like flowers. I love cars. They are amazing. I love automobile in general. Right. I'm still applying makeup. I love makeup, but not as much as I used to. I hate it. I obviously hate makeup. It's a chemical that I don't want to apply on myself. But not as much as before. I used to be grossed when a girl used applied makeup. You know, just to be picked up. Right. Okay. 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 Um. Okay, so if you have to sum up your views on feminism, what are your what is the most important thing you feel about feminism? If you have to tell the world, you know, I would not like to tell anything, but I would like to ask one question, like two questions. I would like to ask two questions. What's the end goal of feminism? When end? if it is a movement, they should it should have a movement. It should have a certain goal, certain objective. Once that is achieved, it should end, right? Right. When will this feminism? We have. Like fifth wave, I think. Currently, the fifth wave of feminism. Right. Like when will this? When will this? And that's the only question. What right. else do the women want? Right. Because yeah, we right have equal we have rights. Policy. Because we have equal yeah. rights already. Right. Yeah. Legally, women can do anything. She right. Has no constraints, no restraints legally. Right. So, fighters they might be. In fact, I have seen my family take care. A girl has. the right to education but they are not allowed because their family doesn't want the girls to study right but legally legally she is free to do anything she likes in the school right she can uh, 
go to solo trips she can start her own business she can go to a corporate world she can be a ceo she can be a mother she can run for this uh, politics she can vote and everything is there what else do the women want right whatever the present feminists are asking is just narcissist narcissistic things mm-hmm. they just want i don't know what yeah so you have two questions one would be when will the movement end and what is the other question the other question would be what else does the women want okay what the do women want sorry what does yeah. the feminists want yeah what do they want yeah okay yeah okay well those are all the questions so that's the, that is the interview and well thank you very much for interviewing <laughs>